Happy Earth Day, everybody. Today's story read for you is a little bit about space um, and the planet Earth, because we do live on a planet, and the planet is in the solar system. So here we go. Little Kids, First Big Book of Space by Catherine D. Hudges, illustrated by David A. Aguilar. Here we go, our solar system. We live in a solar system. The sun is the center of the Earth's solar system. The book begins with the important star. This artwork shows the size of the sun compared to the eight big planets, five dwarf planets, and several moons that you will read about in chapters one, two, and three. The locations of the asteroid belt and the Kuiper belt are also shown. Reference back to this artwork as you read about each topic. Like I said, we're going to read about the sun, the earth, and the moon. So here we go. Looking up from earth. Sun. The sun is a star. It is the closest star to earth, the planet you live on. The sun is very hot. Its warmth and light gives plant and animals on, keeps plant and animals on earth alive, including you. The sun, planets, moon, and different kinds of space rocks are all part of our solar system. The sun is at the center of the whole solar system. So here's this. This blast from the surface of the sun is called a solar flare. The sun is about 93 million miles away from Earth. If you drive to the sun in a car, it would take more than 170 years to get there. Earth travels around the sun in a big circle called an orbit. It takes a whole year for the Earth to travel all the way around the sun. A year on Earth is the time that it takes the Earth to orbit the sun. Eight big planets orbit the sun, including our planet, the Earth. How many times have you been all the way around the sun? Hint, how many, how old are you? So, for example, I'm 45 years old, so I have personally traveled around the sun 45 times. But if you're five years old, you've traveled around the sun five times. If you're six, you've traveled six times. Looking up from the earth, here's the earth. Look at how little it is in compared to the sun. It's huge. The sun is huge. More than a million earths can fit inside of it. During the day, the place where you see the sun changes. In the morning, the sun comes up. This is sunrise. When dark nighttime turns into bright daytime, you will always see sunrise in the direction called east. So it comes up in the east. By lunchtime, the sun is high up in the sky. Do not look directly at the sun. It's so bright that it can hurt your eyes. In the late afternoon, the sun is low in the sky. Soon it is the sun set. As the sun disappears from the sight, then it is nighttime again. So the sunset is always in the direction of the west. So it comes up in the east, is high up at noon, and it goes down in the west. Earth. Most of Earth is covered with oceans. The blue areas are water. There's the moon. Earth is the fifth largest planet in the solar system. A planet is a big round object in the space that orbits a star. Earth is your home. The sun is your star. Earth is always moving as it orbits the sun. It also spins around like a top. When you spin around on your feet, you probably get dizzy, but you cannot feel the Earth spin. Earth spins 1,000 miles an hour. Earth is the third planet in orbit around the sun. During the day, it is light outside and you can see the sun. As the Earth spins, 
the place where you are on the planet turns away from the sun. That is when it gets dark outside. As Earth keeps spinning, you will see the sun again. It takes the Earth one day and one night, 24 hours, to spin all the way around. When it is summer where you live, your part of the Earth is tilted towards the sun on the axis, remember? When it's winter where you live, your part of the Earth is tilted away from the sun. Remember the polars? A strong invisible force called gravity pulls everything on Earth down. Gravity is gonna hold me down. Gravity keeps you and all the things around you from floating up in the sky. Can you jump up five times in a row to show that gravity works every single time you jump? When you jump from the ground, gravity pulls you right back down. Earth is a special planet. It is the only place we know of where there is life. Plants and animals, including people. The jaguar is one of the many kinds of animals that live on planet Earth. The moon. It takes about 27 days for the moon to orbit the Earth. You can often spot Earth's moon when you look into the sky at night. The moon orbits Earth, just like Earth orbits the moon. The moon is rocky and cold. The moon looks bright, but it is actually a dark place. It looks bright only when the sun's light reflects and bounces back off its surface. So here we go. Here's the Earth. And look, our moon is smaller than us. Place in space, in orbit, it orbits around the Earth. How far away? It takes about three days for a spaceship to travel from the Earth to the moon. Three days. Remember, it took 170 years to go to the sun? Something crazy like that. Yeah, 170 years. The shape of the moon you see changes. These changes are called the phases of the moon. The phases change as the moon orbits the Earth. There's the crescent moon, the first quarter moon, the gibbous moon, and the full moon. Sometimes the moon has the, is the shape of a banana. At other times, it looks like half of a circle. The same size, same side of the moon always faces the Earth. Which phases of the moon is your favorite? Uh, I think I like the full moon. The moon is Earth's closest neighbor in space. The only place in space on which people have landed is the moon. People of, before you were born, astronauts, people who travel into space visited the moon. Astronauts landed on the moon six times. You can see where in the picture above. This is a lunar la a lander, a moon lander, carried astronauts to the surface of the moon from a bigger spacecraft that stayed up in orbit. Earth is surrounded by air called the atmosphere. The moon has no atmosphere. An at uh, astronaut on the moon must wear a space suit. The space suit has air to breathe. It also keeps the astronaut warm. Some astronauts who visited the moon had a moon buggy called the Lunar Roving Vehicle. And that's where we're going to end. This book tells more about meteors and the different planets. It's a really fantastic book. If your parents ever want to find you something cool and you enjoy learning about space, um, I'm going to provide some links down below um, about Earth Day, about the Earth. Um, it's actually really interesting to learn about uh, our wonderful, wonderful planet. So I hope you have a great Earth Day and I will see you again tomorrow. And uh, that wraps it up for today. Over and out, little astronauts. Bye.